Well, it's another gorgeous day today on the sunny Isle of Wight. Um, my second bow is now complete and made and finished. Well, it's almost finished anyway. It's finished to the uh, practical extent anyway, to the extent that it works. So uh, I'll show you that now. Here's the finished bow. It's my handcrafted sears, which I've just smoothed off with a file made them all nice and smooth and I glued them in in the end with uh, grip fill it seems to have done a good job on there solvent free grip fill by the way and this is a half inch pipe I'll turn it around the other way and you can read the writing on it half inch schedule 40 it's not focusing iPhone's pretty crap for uh, videos, but anyway, so that's a half inch pipe going into a three quarter inch pipe sears, and I've got a three quarter inch pipe handle, and I've tie wrapped it. I'm just going to tie wrap uh, another bit like this on this side, and then uh, half inch pipe again into the three quarter inch sears. It's just a little burn mark where I touch the hob. It's only superficial, it's not a problem. <clears throat> it's reinforced with a fiberglass rod in the handle. And I don't know if you can see, but the um, half inch pipe goes up to there, and the other side goes up to there. And the way I kept the rod central was I taped it up with duct tape, so it's a nice thick wadge of duct tape on there, and then jammed it in this pipe, which is about a foot of three quarter inch. And the duct tape is this wide, so when I heat, heated this pipe up and pushed the half inch inside, it stops when it hits the duct tape. So I wedge that in nice and tight up against the duct tape, wedge that in. So that's all held together now, so there's no way it's going to slip. And uh, the good thing is the fiberglass rod, the central rod in it, is held central. So it won't be stressing against the edge of the um, the edge of the bow. So anyway, one thing I would have done with hindsight, if you listen, you just hear it rattling a bit. Now that's the fiberglass pole in there rattling against the side of the bow. And with hindsight, uh, with hindsight, what I would have done was. Um, Put some duct tape around the end of the fiberglass rod as well, just to stop it slapping against the inside of the bow. Anyway, I'll do that in my next build, if I ever build another one. So let's string it up quick and see how it goes. I have str strung it up already. That's just 550 paracord with a bow line knot in it. Uh, in my next video, I'll show you how to make a bow line knot. And uh, let's just string it up. Much you can see this one's much easier to string up. It's not. It's not like very easy, but it's manageable. So I've only strung it up twice before. It's about. It's got about five and a half inch to six inch uh, brace height is that what they call it and that's the top it's got a nice even tiller to it the shape of it's like a longbow and I'll tell you why it's a bit like that in a minute hopefully you can hear me right from there just left these long because I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it or if I need to remove these letters yet. So anyway, I'm going to put another another bit like that under the handle here. And in my ne next video, I'll show you how I did the wrap. It's pretty cool because it's tight either way. It doesn't come undone if you twist it. If you do like the uh, basic wrap where you just tuck the end under and wrap around it, you find it comes undone if you twist it in a certain direction. Well, this one doesn't, it just stays tight, whatever. 
It's really firm, really tight, nice tight wrap. It's got nice braiding going down the middle as well, look. So anyway, let's see how it pulls. Can you tell me what that looks like from there? You can get a full drawer on it. Feels pretty good. I reckon that's about about 50 pound draw weight. It seems to have uh, eased off a bit because when I first pulled it, it was so stiff I could hardly pull it. But since I've strung it up and drawn it a few times, it seems better. Get a full draw on it. Let's see if you can see that if I stand back a bit. Full draw, it's very stiff, so um, what I'm thinking of doing is just heating up this limb because the fiberglass rod comes to about there, it's about 12 inches above the handle. So I've got that much uh, bow left, I can put a bit of a recurve on. I think that might just make it a bit more flexible and a bit easier to draw. Yeah, you can see the uh, bow line knot works perfectly well. Bowline are very good under tension, keeps them tight. They um, notoriously come undone only when they're not under tension. So when they're under tension, it's a good tight knot. Anyway, the knot doesn't foul on the sears. It's all good. So that's my little video. In, like I said, in my last video, I'll show you how I made the braid. And I'll also show you how to tie a bowline. Well, it's been an awesome experience making a bow, I have to say. It's been really good doing something constructive with my hands for a change, which now feel really strong instead of feeling just weak from washing up all the time. And um, it was quite a lot harder than I imagined. The first build went completely wrong and um, had to scrap that one and then the second build I had to rethink and did a much much better job and it all came together much easier and uh, it's been a lot of fun so I haven't got any arrows so I can't fire it I'm going to get some get some cheap ones some fiberglass ones or something and uh, just go out and target, target practice with it uh, the, the thing that made it that much easier to build is the handles I cut the half inch pipe in half just stuck it into the three quarter inch and it's uh, it's that far in so it's well reinforced and it's also got the fiberglass rod in it so it's got no weak points in it it's never going to break there because it's got a fiberglass rod in it and it's jammed tight with duct tape so uh, yeah good little project good fun oh that bit there I'm just going to heat up and close or I might fill it with a bit more grip fill so um, it doesn't seem to affect the way the bow works. It's just where I didn't close it up properly and then I filed it. It's just showed a bit of open bit. So apart from that, it's all good. That's my little video. Thanks for watching. Hope you followed all the parts. And if you make a video, or if I inspired you anyway to make a bow, Send me the link and share it with me because I'd like to see it. Alright, cheers guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time. <laughs>